The termination letter cited by City News did not state any reason for the action, but while it was dated February 4, 2022, it communicated that the presidency had given the directive on January 31 this year. This ends the three-year term of Mr. Yaokwakwa as managing director and more than a decade stay with the Ghana Airports Company Limited. He took over in 2019 when his predecessor, John Dechem Atefua, was axed from office. In a similar fashion, no reason was given for his termination. In the three-year period of his leadership, Mr. Kokwa, on several occasions, boasted of the gains he made together with workers of the company. At the launch of the company's customer week in October 2021, the managing director praised the workers for some awards bestowed on the Kotoka International Airport. He is reported to have expressed satisfaction at the Kotoka International Airport being adjudged the best airport by region and size in 2019 and 2020 and as the most improved airport in Africa in 2019. He also cited the airport being conferred the Voice of Customer Certificate in 2020 for gathering passenger feedback through the Airport Service Quality Departure Survey during the pandemic as a great achievement of his team. Yaokwakwa also saw the continuation of some infrastructure projects at the Kutuka International Airport, Sunyane Kumas and Tamale Airports. Despite these, his tenor saw stiff opposition from some staff members. Countless protests, threats of strikes and full-blown strikes were used as channels to demand the termination of his appointment. They alleged that he was not working in the interest of the company and not interested in the welfare of workers. Management owes us a lot of money. Our money. Our money. We are talking about over 60 million Ghana cities that is owed to staff. So management are demand, uh, staff are demanding their money. We had a discussion with management, what information we had, we were communicating this back to staff. They were not happy with what we were telling them. They want to listen to management themselves. So we brought them here and brought out management to come and address them. Well, this money is include our provident fund and to include our credit union. This is a setup we have for ourselves to bail ourselves up if we are in financial challenges so that we don't go to the banks with their exorbitant interest. He, however, denied these allegations. During his tenure, the Kutuka International Airport saw a rise in traffic volumes both in international arrivals and departure of 30,497 in 2019 since 2000. There were also allegations of plans to privatize the Kutuka International Airport that led to staff agitations, even though these claims were rebutted by Mr. Kwakwa. Prior to the decision, the Ghana Airports Company Limited attracted media attention following events before and after the suspension of the operations of Magdan Aviation at Terminal 1 of the Kutuka International Airport.